Uh, can you tell us how you got the call that you were in this tournament, sponsor exemption? What was that like? Yeah, I actually knew um, knew pretty early on. Um, you know, I kind of started emailing tournament directors early, and um, you know, I think I think this tournament was the first to reach out to me and to, and to tell me that I had a spot, and that was back in I think late May. Um, so I knew I was I was coming here for a while. So it was it was good for me. Obviously, I'm a young pro, so it's uh, it's great to have some starts out here. What did you um, do during the rain delay? To, it, you kind of came out and obviously put, finished off a good round. What did you do during the delay? Yeah, um, nothing crazy. I mean, I just stretched, stay loose, and um, first delay, I, I went back out, hit some balls and some putts, and go, I was going back out. Then we got called back in, so. When I got called back in, I didn't hit any balls. I just hit some putts and stretched, and um, yeah, I mean, not, nothing crazy. Is it tough to kind of keep keep your focus and your game, you know, ready to go when when you get called back out there? Or? Yeah, I mean, especially today, um, you know, during the rain delay, I looked at my phone and some friends were texting me, so um, I just tried to block all that out and, and focus on, you know, finishing strong, and I was, you know, able to do that today, which was which was huge to you kind of keep the momentum going into um into tomorrow and the last one for me just pga tour leader what how does that sound sounds good on sunday <laughs> but uh it's only thursday i know i got a long way to go but um you know i'm just going to try and do the same thing tomorrow all right thanks yep thank you would you describe yourself as a type do you go low often is this or is this your best round have you ever shot lower than 63 yeah i mean i've, I've shot um 61 and 59 um, but, you know, honestly, I, I usually don't go low often. Um, I, I just feel like I'm a pretty solid player. But, um, you know, today today the putter got hot, and I just kind of rode that, you know, throughout the round. Where did you shoot 59? Uh, at a place called Sea Palms down in St. Simons Island, Georgia. And so this is the lowest you've shot in a tournament? Tournament round, yes. Um, I've shot 63 twice now in a tournament. So, yes, sir. How would you describe what's the best part of your game? Someone who hasn't seen your game before. Uh, I mean, I thought my attitude was pretty good today. Um, you know, I knew I was leading or close to the lead, and I just kept my emotions in check and just focused on my routine and, um, you know, just being present and playing each hole individually. Did you feel around like this coming? I don't know. I mean, you get off to a good start, you kind of ride the wave coming in, but. Um, I mean, I knew I was hitting it good all week. Um, I was close last week and missed the cut, but I just kind of knew that I was close to playing well, and um, obviously it showed today, and hopefully I can do it again the rest what, of the week. What club did you hit at 11 when you snipped it? Uh, that was a four iron. So not a lot of four irons go to a foot, but, um, you know, I was able to do that on 11, and it was a nice little tap in. When you look at you know how you've done as a, a pro or in PGA Tour events, then you look at how you do today. How, how do you explain that? I mean, like I said, you know, if the putter gets hot, you know, you can just kind of ride that wave throughout the day. And um, I was on with my reads today. My caddy did a great job with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was like I said, I knew I was hitting it well, and I just uh, you know just committed to every target and and just stayed in the moment. So. And you mentioned, you know, it would mean more to you to be leading on Sunday. So, you know, to put yourself in a uh, position to do that, what's your mindset going into Friday and hopefully the weekend? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I just just be present, go through my routines, don't get too high or too low. Um, you know, I've, I've played in a few pro events now, so, you know, you just got to keep your emotions in check and, um, you know, anything can happen. But um, I know I'm playing well, so I'm just going to, have some confidence going into tomorrow, and uh, hopefully I can uh, play another good round. Grow, growing up around the game, who have been some of the big influences on your career? Um, man, a lot of people. Uh, I'd say my dad, first of all. You know, I have a great support system, my family. Uh, Mom and Franny, they, they've been great. Um, you know, also, you know, swing coach, Eric Eshelman, short game guy, Peter Persons, I mean, the, there's a huge list of people that have impacted me in a great way, and um, I'm just thankful that I have a good support system. What's the What's the most uh, interesting thing about you outside of golf? Man, uh, 
I don't know. I'm a pretty relaxed guy. Um, I love superhero movies, if you want to roll with that. But uh, love Batman. But, uh, man, I'm just a pretty even kill guy. I mean, not, nothing crazy about me. So, did you, did you think you could get out on to the top of a leaderboard this soon in, in your career? I mean, I knew I had the I knew I had the capability to, but you know, until it's actually happening, you kind of you kind of get in that mindset of trying not to let your emotions get too high, and you know, I just try to have a good attitude about it, and um, you know, just embrace the moment. And I feel like I did a good job of that today. Did Damon do the chicken dance at all? He did on number seven. I caught it out of the corner of my eye. So yeah, it's pretty funny. And who's the best Batman? Uh, Christian Bale. So.